Hello students, today we are going to start our third chapter of SS that is movements of the earth. Now what is the meaning of movement? Movement means the mo motion or the changes. Now in this lesson we are going to study the movements of the earth that how the earth changes its place and that are the two, there are the two movements rotation and revolution. Students, you had seen the different positions of the sun at the different times of the day. For example, at the noon time, the sun is right over our head and we feel its heat and brightness. In the evening, the sun sets in the west. These positions of the sun give us the impression that the sun keeps moving from one corner of the sky to the another. Means we feel like that, that sun is moving here and there and we are as it is on the same place. But it is not correct. Actually, you know that sun never changes its place. Sun is as it is on its place and the other planets of the solar system, including the earth, they take the round around the sun. Means they are revolving around the sun. And earth has the two basic movements. These movements are rotation and revolution. Now we will study about the rotation of the earth. Now students, you had seen a uh, top. Top means what we say in the Gujarati? Yes, Bamedu. Yes, when you spin a top, it rotates on its axis. Like axis, what is the axis? We had studied in the earlier chapter. In the latitudes and longitudes, that axis is an imaginary line which is passing from north pole to the south pole and it helps the earth to spin on its place. Now similarly, the earth also rotates on its axis and this movement is called rotation. So what is the meaning of rotation? When the earth rotates on its axis is called rotation. The earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. And the earth needs 24 hours to complete its one rotation. Now students, we will study about the revolution of the earth. Now while rotating on its axis, the earth moves around the sun in a fixed path. And this fixed path is called orbit. This fixed path is called orbit. And this orbit, it is elliptical in shape elliptical means it is oval in shape what is the meaning of elliptical elliptical means it is oval in shape elliptical means oval in shape now when the earth is moving around the sun this movement is known as the revolution when earth is moving around the sun and at the same time, earth is also rotating. And earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. How much time earth will take? 24 hours to complete one rotation. And to complete one revolution, earth takes 365 and one fourth days. Okay students, I hope you had understood it. How much time earth takes to complete one rotation? 24 hours. And how much time it takes to complete one revolution? 365 and one fourth days. Now students, we will study about a leap year. Now what is a leap year? The earth takes 365 and one fourth days to complete one revolution. But we consider only 365 days in a year. And the one fourth day or the sixth hours is added to a four years is added for a four years means this one fourth plus one fourth one fourth plus one fourth makes one day and this one day extra it is this one day it is added in the month of february now in the month of february after every four years there is 29 days and that is called a leap year. 
and whenever we are having a leap year that time in the leap year there are total 366 days in a year why because that 1/4 and 1/4 is added at that time so leap year is having 366 days how many days leap year is having 366 days in a leap year now students i hope you had understood what is a leap year that the earth takes 365 1/4 days to complete one revolution but we consider 365 days in a year and the 1/4th day or the 6 hours is added for the 4 years and after that in the 4th year it will become one day extra in the month of february so that's why in the leap year in the month of february we are having total 29 days now this leap year comes after every 4 years only now students suppose if 2016 is a leap year so which will be the next leap year can you imagine can you tell yes you add after that 4 years so that is that will be 2020 correct now we will study about the seasons now students you know seasons means what yes generally you know about the three main seasons that is summer winter and monsoon but here we are going to see some other thing also about it student how how the season occur means season kaise hoti hai the movement of the earth around the sun brings about changes in season now the movement of the earth jo earth ki jo movement hoti hai around the sun due to that season changes on the earth and our earth has four main seasons which are the spring summer autumn and winter now student seasons are caused due to the tilt of the earth axis as our planet revolves around the sun now these seasons they are caused because the earth axis is tilt now you can see here it is tilt this axis this axis is tilt it is not straight tilt means it is little bend okay now due to this the our planet revolves around the sun as the tilted earth moves in its orbit around the sun a certain part of our planet get closer to the sun now suppose here is the sun and some of the part will come closer to it when it is revolving around the sun at that time so when the north pole is tilted towards the sun as in the june month that time northern hemisphere and at that time northern hemisphere will be having the summer and the same time when the northern hemisphere is having the summer so southern hemisphere will having the winter so opposite of it now the northern hemisphere when it is tilted towards the sun when it is towards the sun that time it is having summer and the southern hemisphere at that time it will having the winter also there are times during the earth's revolution when the two poles are at equal distance means at that time the north pole and south pole they are at the equal distance at the same distance from the sun and that time they are neither tilted towards the sun nor away from it and at that time when they are completely straight at that time we experience spring and autumn at that time we are having the spring season and autumn season now the weather is neither very hot and nor very cold during these two seasons and besides causing seasons the tilt of the earth causes variations in the length of days and night now when earth is tilted when our earth is uh, rotating at that time the changes are there in the time duration of day and night students you had noticed 
that during the summer season the days are long and nights are short is it or not in the summer season when you are go outside in the evening time for playing so you can see outside the sunlight up to the 7 730 or quarter to 8 many of the times and the day time is longer and night time is shorter but what happens in the winter season yes opposite of it the days are shorter and nights are longer in the winter season if you go outside in the evening time so near by 6 o'clock or 6:30 it becomes start be, it starts becoming dark and in the winter season the days are short and nights are longer i hope you had understood about the seasons we had studied that due to the tilt of the earth we are having the different seasons also whichever season the northern hemisphere is having opposite season southern hemisphere will having when the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun it will having summer season and that time the southern hemisphere will be having the winter season but when the southern hemisphere it is tilted towards the sun that time southern hemisphere will having the winter and northern hemisphere that time will having the summer i hope you had understood it thank you now the next topic which we are going to study that is solstice and equinox now first of all what is the meaning of solstice student solstice is the point during the earth's orbit around the sun at which the sun is at its greatest distance from the equator means the sun is at the greatest distance from the equator and equinox what does the equinox equinox is the time that when the earth is to the closest distance from the equator means that the equinox will having the equal day and night and at the time of solstice it might be having the longest or the shortest day it might be having the longest day or the shortest day that we will see further okay now in the northern hemisphere the days during the summer continue to be the long till 21st june up to 21st june the days will become longest on the 21st june it is the longest day and after that the length of the day slowly begins to decrease means 21st जून जो है वो सबसे बड़ा दिन है और उसके बाद धीरे धीरे जो दिन है वो छोटे होते जाएंगे कब तक अप टू द ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डिसम्बर सो फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट जून टिल ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डिसम्बर स्लोली स्लोली द लेंथ ऑफ द डेज बिकेन डिक्रीज इन विंटर द डेज कंटिन्यू टू बी शॉर्टर टिल ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डिसम्बर and this is the shortest day of the year and it is known as winter solstice which is a winter solstice 22nd december and it is the shortest day it is the shortest day and which is the longest day 21st june it is known as the summer solstice okay students now the next thing that there are two days in the whole year when the earth when the days and nights are equal in length means the day time and the night time is equal and these two days when the sun shines directly over the equator and these days are called equinox and these two days are known as the equinox and in the northern hemisphere 21st march or the 20th march and 23rd september they are known as follows suppose for example first we will consider about the vernal equinox vernal equinox is also known as the spring equinox okay students now this 21st march or on the 20th march this vernal equinox occur and autumnal equinox another is the autumnal equinox it will occur on 23rd september at that time the length of the day and night is equal have you understood beta again i will repeat that 21st june is the summer solstice it is the longest day then after that the length of the day decrease up to the 22nd december it is winter solstice 
and on that day on the 22nd december it is the shortest day then the another two points which we very important that is the equinox equinox means having the equal day and night so at that time on the 21st march vernal equinox is there and vernal equinox is also known as the spring equinox at that time the time duration is equal means day time and night time is equal and on 23rd september autumnal equinox is there at that time also day and night time duration is equal and a very important thing now students again we will revise the things that we had first studied in this chapter about the rotation of the earth and revolution of the earth we had studied that during the rotation of the earth the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation and earth rotates on its own axis for that it takes 24 hours the next thing which we had studied about the rotation that due to the rotation of the earth day and night occurs what thing happens day and night occurs during the rotation of the earth and the part of the earth which is facing the sun will having the day time and the opposite part will having the night time then the next thing which we had studied that is the revolution of the earth revolution we had studied students that at that time in what happens in the revolution yes during the revolution the earth moves around the sun in a fixed path now you can see here this is the fixed path shown to us and this fixed path is showing us about the orbit and this orbit is elliptical now you can see here it is elliptical elliptical means oval in shape and this movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution and earth takes 365 and 1/4 days to complete its one revolution then after that we had studied about the leap year what is the leap year we had studied students yes correct leap year means after every 4 years a one day is added extra in the month of february that is a leap year or oh, in reality there are 365 and 1/4 days in a year this 1/4 day means the 6 hours they are uh, they are counted as a one day after every 4 years then after we had studied about the next thing in this chapter that is the seasons there are the four main seasons which we had studied that are the summer spring autumn and winter and these seasons they also caused due to the earth axis and you know that earth axis is tilted and the earth moves in its orbit around the sun okay student then the last thing we had studied solstice and equinox solstice means the point during the earth earth's orbit around the sun at which the sun is at its greatest distance from the equator equinox it is the uh, the time when the earth is having the closest distance from the equator i hope you had understood students thank you